Hi, my name is Elizabeth Grillo and a little bit about myself is I am currently a substitute teacher at Rush Henrietta. I've been with the district for three years now. I've had two long-term sub placements. The first one was for three months at Berger Middle School and the second one was for a month at the high school. I also coach for Rush Henrietta. I've been the swim coach there for three years now. I received my undergraduate degree from the College at Brockport where I am currently certified to teach physical education and I have a concentration in adapted PE. I am currently studying at Emporia State University where I will be receiving my health degree in December. I believe I would be a good fit at the Midlake School District because I can help create a community of learners and leaders and also embody the strong moral characteristics that they are looking for. Um, these characteristics that I embody are teamwork, sportsmanship, hard work, dedication, respect, all of these characteristics I would pass on to the students that I teach. When thinking of a quality PE program, a few components come into mind. Um, the first one and definitely most important one is going to be making sure that the environment you provide for your students is physically and emotionally safe. Um, by doing so, the students will feel comfortable around you and in the classroom. This will really help the students' learning experience, making sure that they're getting the best that they can. Um, the second thing would be to make sure you're teaching to the student holistically. Uh, we want to not only focus on the physical, but you also want to make sure you're teaching to them cognitively and social or emotionally. Um, it's also important that you're differentiating instruction. Uh, some students learn at different rates, so you want to make sure that you're constantly repeating something, um, saying it different ways for those that are confused or even having visual aids. Uh, the third thing is to make sure that you're aligning your PE program with the New York State standards. You want, and lastly, just to have fun. And if you did the three things above, your students are going to have fun in your class and they're gonna have a good time and that's what PE is all about. I believe that I will enrich this school environment by being myself. I am always smiling and I have a great personality, very enthusiastic, happy, positive. Um, I think this will bring a great presence in the hallway. So not only for the students to see a smiling face every morning or if they're having a bad day in class, but the teachers will also see a friendly face as well. A lesson of mine that I taught that I can remember that went really well was when I had a long-term substitute teaching position at the Harley School. I was there for six months and I taught ages nursery through middle school. Um, this specific lesson was taught to a primary one class, so first and second graders. Um, we were teaching striking with a shorthanded implement, and I believe this lesson went really well because it was very well organized, and the tasks that the students were given were challenging enough, but not too challenging to where the students were giving up. Uh, it was organized because we color coordinated everything. The spots on the ground matched the paddles that the students had. And then they were called up by that color to come and grab a balloon. Um, instructions were clear. Uh, I was standing in front of the class instructing them to hit the balloon or toss the balloon as follows. And they were given time to do that task. And then we went on to the next one. A uh, lesson that I recall that didn't go as well as planned had to deal with uh, lack of instruction. I explained a warm-up activity and set the students on their way to start it, but my directions must have been unclear or not understood, so the warm-up activity did not go as planned and we had to end it earlier. Um, knowing this now and looking back, I can always get better as a teacher so I took that as a learning experience and now every lesson that I teach if something is a little off the first time I always have another class to make it better I can realize what worked and what didn't work or how I should say something 
uh, for the next time that I teach it. So that really helped me. And teaching each lesson day by day, it gets better and better. I am a strong believer in character education. I think that students learn a lot from PE and sports. Uh, growing up, I was always into sports, playing multiple sports at once, and I learned so many characteristics that have stuck with me till this day and made me who I am. Um, these characteristics are teamwork, hard work, dedication, communication, sportsmanship. All of these qualities are things that I can pass on to my students. And I would promote this character education in my teaching by making sure throughout each lesson or at the end of each lesson to pinpoint a characteristic. Maybe it be teamwork and ask the students questions about teamwork. Why is it important? How does teamwork help us? Uh, would it help us in the real world? So any characteristic that is important or that comes and shows up in sports, we would talk about. The extracurricular activities that I would feel comfortable with would be anything that the school is putting together. Um, being a new teacher at the school, I would want to meet as many students, faculty, parents um, that I could. This could include just going to athletic events, um, supporting in the plays, any programs that the school is hosting. Um, I'd also be willing to help coach in the district. Um, I have quite a bit of coaching experience and I love to coach. So just getting myself known in the district and meeting the community and the people would uh, make me feel comfortable. I believe that technology is up and coming in physical education. Uh, the only piece of technology really that I use is music. I think this helps the class in so many ways. Uh, the first way is that it's a great start and stop signal. It's very clear the students know when the music's on that they can be active and participating and the students know when the music stops that a direction is going to be given so they need to freeze and listen. It also makes the classes more fun. Students can listen and be engaged in playing all at the same time. Uh, some other pieces of equipment I have used, um, I've had a TV where during the dance unit or even a yoga unit, um, we've played the dances there and the students can also look up at the TV as a guide if they are having trouble following you. Same thing for yoga, it gives them another visual. Uh, pedometers are a great way for students to understand how steps can help you lead to fitness goals. Again, my name is Elizabeth Grillo, and I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to interview me. Um, I am so grateful for this opportunity, and I hope you were impressed by some of my answers, and you would want to see me for another interview. Have a great weekend, and I hope to hear from you soon.